Challenge response authentication is a security mechanism used to verify the identity of users or devices attempting to access a system or network. It involves a series of interactions where the system challenges the user to prove their identity, and the user responds with the required authentication information. This method is commonly used in various security protocols and systems. Here's a general overview of how challenge response authentication works. 1. Initiation. The authentication process begins when a user or device requests access to a system or resource. This request triggers the system to initiate the authentication process. 2. Challenge generation. The system generates a random or unique challenge, which is typically a string of characters or a cryptographic value. This challenge is specific to the authentication request and serves as a one-time token. 3. Challenge presentation. The system presents the challenge to the user or device attempting to authenticate. This challenge can be communicated in various ways, such as through a login prompt, an email, a text message, or a dedicated authentication app. 4. Response calculation. The user or device receiving the challenge calculates a response based on the challenge and their authentication credentials. The response is typically generated using a cryptographic algorithm and secret keys. 5. Response submission. The user or device sends the response back to the system for verification. This response demonstrates that the user possesses the necessary authentication information to satisfy the challenge. 6. Verification. The system verifies the received response by performing the same cryptographic calculations with its stored authentication data. If the calculated response matches the received response, the authentication is successful. Otherwise, access is denied. 7. Access granted or denied. Based on the verification result, the system either grants access to the requested resource or denies access. Successful authentication typically leads to the user or device being granted access to the system. Challenge response authentication offers several advantages, including resistance to replay attacks, where an attacker intercepts and reuses authentication data, and the ability to use dynamic challenges that change with each authentication attempt. It is commonly used in various security protocols and systems, such as 1. One-time password, OTP, systems. OTPs are generated based on challenges and are typically valid for a single use. 2. Public key infrastructure, PKI. PKI systems use cryptographic challenges and responses to authenticate digital certificates and ensure secure communications. 3. Remote authentication protocols. Many remote authentication protocols, such as the Extensible Authentication Protocol, EAP, use challenge response mechanisms to authenticate users and devices in secure network access scenarios. Overall, Challenge response authentication enhances security by requiring users or devices to prove their identity in a dynamic and cryptographic manner, making it more difficult for unauthorized individuals to gain access to sensitive resources. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.